Dear students, do you remember these activities? Layering, grafting, and budding. Now we can learn an another activity. Look this. Look this chili plant. In this plant, you can see long chili, but there is only a single chili in this plant. But observe this plant. You can see so many chilies on a single plant, but the chilies are very short. Do you observe the two varieties of chilies? This variety, you can see, the chili is very long. But what's the problem? Only a few number of chilies are there in a single plant. And look here, what is the features of this variety? There is many chilies, a number of chilies on a plant, but the chilies are so short. They are very short. In this chilies, long chilies, but a few is on a plant. In this, there are many chilies on a plant, but the chilies are short. We need a chili plant with the quality of these two. With the quality of these two varieties. But we want to combine these two varieties. How we can combine these two? We need long chilies and many chilies on a plant. For this purpose, we need to, we have to combine these two qualities. How can we combine these two? In the previous lessons, we learned human interference in vegetative propagation. Those are layering, grafting and budding. But, you know that how a chili plant is produced from where it is sprouting. Okay, you know that chili is sprouting from its seed. Chili is a plant produced by seed germination. We need chili seeds with the quality of these two. How can we make this? But here, you know that seed is sprouting this type of reproduction is called sexual reproduction. Previous, we learned about human interference in vegetative propagation. Now, we can see human interference in sexual reproduction. A human producing the seeds in a special way, combining the quality, different qualities of same species plant. How a seed is producing? You learned it in 6th standard. Do you remember that? Flower to fruit. The lesson, flower to fruit. Look here. It is a flower. Do you know the parts of these flowers? You learned the parts of flowers in 6th standard. It is a hibiscus flower. Look here. In this flower, it is the major part of this flower. It is the main parts, main organ, main stamen. It is stamen. Stamen is the main organ of a flower. When we remove the petals, look here, petals are removed from this flower. The two parts of this flower, one is stamen. Stamen is the main organ. And here is the ovary. It is the female organ. How seed is produced from this flower? You know that pollen grains from the stamen falls on the stigma. And the pollen grains reaches ovary and combine with the female gamete. These two process, one pollen grains fall on the stigma, is called pollination. And after pollination, the combining of male gamete and female gamete is 
fertilization. But here in pollination, the pollen grains fall on the stigma. Look here, there are two varieties of chili plants. We need to produce seeds from combine seeds by combining these two varieties. How we can combine these varieties? We have to ensure the pollination is happening between these two varieties. We have to do pollination between these two varieties. You know two types of pollination. One, pollen grains from the same flower falls on its own stigma is self-pollination. And uh, what is the other type of pollination? Pollen grains from any other plant, other flower fall on this stigma is cross-pollination. There are two types of pollination, self-pollination and uh, cross-pollination. Cross-pollination is doing by pollinating agents. Can you say the name of any pollinating agent? Okay. Butterfly, honeybee, birds, insects. There are many pollinating agents. But here, we have to do the pollination in our own way. Don't allow any agents to do the pollination. If any agents do this pollination, we can't ensure pollination is happening between these two varieties. For ensure this, we prevent natural pollination and we do our own way the pollination. It is called artificial pollination. Before combining these two plants and producing seeds, what we do? We do first doing first artificial pollination. First we have to prevent the self-pollination. For preventing self-pollination, remove all stamen from this. From this flower, cut off all stamens. Then we can prevent the self-pollination. Then cover it. Using a polythene sheet, cover it. By covering this, we can ensure to prevent. We are preventing the cross-pollination by insects. In artificial pollination, we collecting pollen grains from this variety and place the pollen grains on the stigma of that variety. Then again cover it. By this we can ensure pollination is happening between these two varieties. Let us see the artificial pollination in a coconut plant. Observe the video. Let us see the hybridization process in coconut. Select two variety coconut plants. In which we do pollination, remove the female flowers from the flower bunch. You can see a part like small balls that is female flowers. Remove all male flowers. It prevents self-pollination. And there may be happen cross-pollination by insects or wind. To prevent cross-pollination, cover the flower bunch with a polythene cover. It is the first step of artificial pollination. We prevent self-pollination and cross-pollination in these flowers. It is the address tag, the variety of the coconut and the date indicates in the address tag. Then select another variety of the coconut plant. It is the second step. Collect male flowers from the another variety coconut plant. Then collect pollen grains from this male flowers. Keep the pollen grains in bottles safely in laboratory. And the third step is artificial pollination. Uncover 
the flower bunch then pour pollen grains on the stigma of the female flowers it is artificial pollination now we can ensure the pollination is happened between these two varieties cover the flower bunch again to prevent natural pollination here you can see two varieties of coconut plants this is tall variety lakshadweep ordinary west coast tall east coast tall kutiyadi tall this varieties are tall variety coconut trees here you can see small dwarf varieties short varieties chavakkad orange chavakkad green malaya green this varieties all are dwarf varieties if we are collecting pollen grains from the tall variety and place it on a dwarf variety we can produce new seeds these seedlings are called t into d tall into dwarf then another way we can collect pollen grains from the dwarf variety and place it on the tall variety this type of seed is called d into t seeds produce such a way is called hybrid seeds this process is called hybridization hybridization is a process is a method to produce new seeds through artificial pollination between plants of same species but different characteristics here you can see these two these uh, two plants are coconuts they are in same species but its characteristics features are different one is tall and the one is dwarf hybridization is a method to produce new seeds through artificial pollination between plants of same species but different characteristics okay but this activity making new seeds hybrid seeds this type of seeds are hybrid seeds produce hybrid seeds and give the farmers about the proper nurturing and making new fertilizers but these all process are doing some research centers for this there are many research centers in kerala do you know the name of any research center you may hear the name mannuthi this plant is from mannuthi you may hear it in your daily life the word mannuthi in thrissur district mannuthi is the major agri there is the major agricultural research institute in kerala kerala agricultural university kau it is situated in mannuthi thrissur district and there are many regional research centers of kau manjeri anakayam there is a regional research center of kau in pattambi paddy research institute is also a regional center and in vayanad ambalavai there is a regional institute of research center of kau and central research centers are also in kerala the major research centers are mainly center tuber crop research institute shri karyam tirunelveli ctci and in kasaragod central plantation crop research institute cpci in kasaragod and rubber research institute of india rri in kottayam but there are many research institutions in our state this agricultural research institutes developed many hybrid seeds and many quality planting materials for example in paddy pavitra hrasva annapurna and in tomato shakti mukti anaka the green chili varieties are ujjwala jwalamukhi anugraha etc like 
bitter gourd. The bitter gourd hybrid varieties are Priya, Preeti, Priyanka. In lady's finger, Arka, Abhay, Kiran, Salkirti, Arka Animega. There are many hybrid varieties of lady's finger seeds. Brinjal, Surya, Shweta, Harita, Nilima. There are many research institutes. They produced many hybrid variety of planting materials. How these planting materials reaches the farmers? In all panchayats in Kerala, there are Krishi Bhavan. You may hear the name Krishi Bhavan. Do you ever visit a Krishi Bhavan? In your panchayat, there is a Krishi Bhavan. What Krishi Bhavan do? Krishi Bhavan brought these planting materials, fertilizers, suggestions to the farmers. Krishi Bhavan help the farmers in their farming. In this lesson class, we learned about hybridization and research institutes. And a worksheet is given at the end of this class. Complete the worksheet. Okay.